What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plika. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. And today we're talking about top 10 moments from Suicide Squad, baby. Best movie in the world. What? We some kind of Suicide Squad. You know, you know it's a great movie when they have to be like, what are we, some kind of Suicide Squad? <laughs> like, you know, they go out to like the woods or in a cabin, like, you know, what is it, like a uh, Friday the 13th Part 3? <laughs> oh my god did jason take manhattan what is this nightmare on elm street 5 freddy's return um i was excited to watch this i was too in until my, i watched it in my memory i was like okay this movie's bad but it's like a fun bad and it's like harley quinn's cool and will smith is cool and blah blah, blah. i don't know what movie i saw because fuck yeah i don't know what movie it was said. bad and I, I i did have seen like the three hour cut or whatever it is the extended i can't cut, imagine that, that came with the i keep pointing at the blue the dvd as if everybody knows exactly what i'm pointing at mm. but like and that one's a little better but like fuck man it's a bad movie yeah i blame you for this well yeah birds of praise coming out and i thought you know we can watch suicide squad you do a video on that and then you know like the couple days we'll do a video on birds of prime because they're kind of a sequel Mm-hmm. Starting to think we should have just watched Birds of Prey on that game. We could have watched like the old fucking Birds of Prey show that was on WB. That would have probably been more entertaining. Um, but I'll go first. But I do want to explain anybody that didn't watch our Star Wars stuff we did for this. Uh, we do it from one to ten, and it's not ranked. It's just like it's like my it's just my opinions in the movie as I go down. And so this like it starts when I start the movie number one, and then goes to ten towards the end of the movie. It's just and it's just my thoughts. It's your ten favorite moments in no particular order. No, in the particular order is as I wow, watch the movie. That's true. I didn't go out of order. Normal, normal people would rank him. Yeah, I like to make it as cute as I almost said as cute, <laughs> as confusing as possible for the audience to try to comprehend what video they're watching. You know what you could do? You could rank him in from Thor. Oh, from Thor Ragnarok. No, from Thor. Thor the Dark World to Avengers Endgame. That's how I rank movies. I think that's a pretty good ranking system. That's the worst ranking system. Because Thor I've Ragnarok ever is bad, and Avengers Endgame is. No, you're. That's just dumb. First of all, it's not my worst Marvel movie. I mean, potato, potato, right? All right, uh, I'm gonna start with my number one, number one moment, best moment. Actually, not really, but one of my great moments of uh, Suicide Squad. Uh, the Will Smith flashback scenes as Deadshot are still pretty cool. I actually would like to see a Deadshot movie with Will Smith. That'd be pretty entertaining. I feel like he's good in this. I think it could be, mm -hmm. but you'd have to. I mean. Not, not, I don't think any of the people involved in this movie should do it. Well, except for I think Will Smith. I think he yeah. plays, he plays it good, and I do, I like his interaction with Batman too. Because like if, in the comics, he, he doesn't shoot him. Like there's like been some thing where he's like he can't kill Batman. Like he like that's the one dude like can't pull the trigger on sometimes and shit. Oh really? So that was a cool little thing in there. But like I like I like killed him in his dream. Yeah, but I like those uh, those scenes where like he meets him in the alley because I feel like that's like the most like accurate representation of Batman we've gotten too. Like because it's cool he's in the alley, he stops on Deadshot. When he goes and gets Harley Quinn later on, he like. Are you spoiling some of your best moments? No. Okay. This is the only one I have for the flashbacks. And then he, he goes and saves Harley Quinn. He doesn't kill her. Like, there's some cool shit like that. But I really like the Deadshot ones. And then I put side note: What the fuck, David Harbour's in this movie? Yeah, I know. I, I totally like, forgot. That. I had no fucking clue. I'm watching. I'm like, oh, like, what the fuck? That's David Harbour. So this is before Stranger Things, or right around the same time. When did this? I mean, this was ninety. I think this they, was, I think they came out the same year. Actually. This was 2016. So yeah, same year they came out. So. This movie's so bad, I almost made that as one of my top ten. Him being in it, you're like, yeah, cool, he's in it, dope. Yeah, and I, like, I, he does nothing. He's like, what, are we going to have to get a Suicide Squad together, Amanda Waller? Hmm? Uh, that was horrible. That's my um, favorite Towards the end, he's like, how does he even know it's a secret base? And then, it, oh, she's attached. Yeah. That was pretty pretty lame. Yeah, so what's, uh, what's your number one moment? The Flash cameo. That was pretty cool. I remember how excited I was because there was like a rumor on the internet that there was going to be like just like Batman might be in the movie it's and Flash his, and all it's that. It's his second best cameo. That's true. His CW one is better than this. Yeah. Which, side note, there's a rumor in the episode 14 of Flash coming up because that's the same, they, the day they filmed that is the day they, or one of the weeks is when they filmed Crisis. Mm -hmm. He might be in that episode also because it's supposed to be like the death of the Speed Force and shit. Oh, uh, really? Which I was like, oh, I hope so. Um... That'd be interesting. But I don't even know where I was going with that. Oh, yeah, I remember when we were seeing it originally. I was so excited for that. And it was like 10 seconds. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of disappointed in that. Because it was pretty cool him just showing up there and stopping him. Yeah. yeah. I wanted I wanted him to take down another one. How Batman got to, I wanted him to have Do more. You so, Captain Boomerang. Mm -hmm. Worst person in the thing? Uh, Pretty close. I think Killer Croc is worse. 
Well, at least I he can, does something. I guess Slipknot's bad, too, but I mean, he's barely even in the movie. He's the dude that dies in yeah. the first. The first thing he does is punch a woman and go, oh, she had a face, a mouth, some, whatever he says. <laughs> I don't think he said that. No, call me. He gets out of the bag and goes, pop, and goes, she had a mouth. And Harley Quinn goes, <laughs> He had a mouth. <laughs> wow. That happened in the movie. I don't remember that. And then right, I remember him like, getting And then like, right after that, Will Smith goes, What, we some kind of suicide squad? Is that the only thing you got? That's the only button I got. I was going to get Joker going, <laughs> Now, see, you were a big fan of this Joker. I liked him. And now this one, I'm like, yeah, not that great. No, I, he's I not. I was stupid back in 2016. I mean, I didn't like love him. but Oh, I, you I, were pretty. I thought he was. I you he were was, pretty hot to I try. I thought he was pretty cool. I liked his look. Yeah. I thought it was different and kind of neat. And I liked like the backstory. Like there was like all these rumors and I, theories that he was potentially like Jason Todd, and now he turned into the Joker and stuff. But then they just kind of went a bunch. I, of different I, ways I didn't mind his look. I didn't really care one way or the other because mm-hmm. I know that, that the Joker can be. Whatever he has so many different looks. Yeah, I don't. So I mean, that's fine. But I don't know. It, 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 I wanted to like him. Yeah, I think that was part of my thing. I wanted him to be really cool. And then even they even say he's filmed so much of the movie that's cut out, which you can tell actually it's in the extended version of the movie. He shows up in the end fight, which if you remember when the trailers come out, there's that scene of him like with his face like makeup or whatever, and like half of it's like burnt off his face. Like he has like black growing down. Mm -hmm. That's from he survived the helicopter crash and he shows up at the end and Harley doesn't want to go with him and he pulls a gun on her and stuff, which kind of makes the whole actually the actual end of the movie not make any sense. Yeah. But like so, there's there's that in the extended version. There's more scenes of them a little bit, but there's not as much as Jared Leto says. So they either didn't put it in there, or Brian, he's kind of making shit up. Maybe he was filming Morpheus. My, my favorite uh, interview though for the movie is they were talking to him. It's after the movie came out. It was like the week it came out, I think. And they're talking to Jared Leto, and they're like, "So what were some scenes that like were cut from the movie that you enjoyed? Were there any that didn't get cut from they the movie? Cut from the movie? No, I'm I'm asking you, were there any that didn't get cut oh, from the movie? <laughs> But that's pretty funny. He he was pissed about how much they cut out. Well, I would be too. Even Margot Robbie, there's interviews of her talking about how much backstory there was with both of them that they filmed and all this shit, and then like barely any of it's in. Well, they had to have Captain Boomerang thrown his boomerang. Yeah, and open a beard and rock away. So that's how this started. I started talking about Captain Boomerang. He, in the beginning, he robbed a bank. Yeah. And he, the guy that he robs it with, he double crosses and hits him with a boomerang. Mm-hmm. Um. I think that's the only time he actually hits somebody with it, too. I think, is that the only time he... Th- oh, no, he throws the the drone one later on. Yeah. But does he ever really... like? Other, I feel like that, that he throws it, kills that guy, he throws it, does the drone, and then other time he's just like... Well, he, he throws, like he at throws one at her at the end, and she catches it and throws uh, it and like, yeah. fucking chucks it back at him or whatever. Yeah, okay. And it's just like, why are you even here? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of shit that I'm like, why did they make this choice? I know yeah. that originally they wanted King Shark in the movie, and then they're like, that's too expensive. We gotta do Killer Croc instead. And then the CW did Killer, or yeah, Killer Croc and it, or King Shark. Yeah, I was gonna say, really? <laughs> and it was great, and everyone loved it, and they're like, oh, we, maybe we could have done it. But like in James Gunn's Suicide Squad, there will be King Shark. I, I'm I'm actually pretty excited for Suicide Squad 2, or whatever they're gonna call it. Oh, after watching this, how could you not be? Yeah, because like Pete Davidson's in it, like supposedly um, Peter Capaldi's in it from Doctor Who, I like him, you don't care. But there's a lot of people in it that I'm like, oh, that'll be pretty interesting. And like the way they have the cast filled, I'm like, oh, there's gonna be a lot of people dying in this. That would make more sense. Yeah, they they only killed one person. Like, I feel like they should have got some more of the cast that they can like. And blow, the, blow the up. person they killed wasn't in the backstory. Yeah, no one even cares about that person. Well, I mean, I didn't Diablo die. I mean, yeah, but he died in a way that you can be like comic book shit. Oh, he's back to life. He became magma stuff, and he's back. He's El Diablo too. Still Diabloing. Wow, <laughs> Are you, we're only number two. I'm only on. I mean, I haven't even said my two yet, so we should get going. Um, <laughs> it's been a long video, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my number two, kind of like this video, is 17 minutes into the movie, and we're still introducing the main characters. What the? That's fuck? That's your number two? Yeah. Well, I was like, what the fuck? I was watching the movie. I'm like, this is like the third intro in the movie because they have the intro with Bill Smith and all that. And they do a bunch of shit. They show Harley Quinn, and then they show Amanda Waller, and then there's like another intro with all the characters. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I hit pause. I'm like, 17 minutes in, and we haven't even seen everybody yet. Don't you think the Amanda Waller in Arrow is better than the? Oh yeah, and I and I like her. I like her too, but I don't like her in this. 
It's not that she was bad. It's just I don't know. I, yeah, well, yeah, I agree with you. I think they could have done better right. stuff with that. Yeah, I, like, I totally like the CW. I mean, one. Plus, she was. In There's sh- a lot of stuff. The in other this girl was in Shooter too, so that automatically uh, makes her better. Uh, but that was just the thing that I was like, Jesus Christ! I got to write that down because that's crazy. So my number two is the dead shot gun montage. The, oh, when he's doing all the stuff outside. Yeah, that was really cool. I like that. That's actually one of mine coming up here. I think unless I deleted it. I it was the Kanye West too. Yeah, I like that. That's another thing I have in down here that I don't think the mu- the music fits. It didn't. It sort of didn't fit there, but it. I like that song so much. That well, that, that's the thing that I feel like they did. Like, I was like, Whatever. oh, people like this song. They'll just let it play here. But it felt like they were just like, I like that song. Throw it in the movie somewhere. Oh, it kind of fits there with Will Smith shooting. Okay, put it there. He's black. Put on a Kanye song. Yeah, and then Harley. Oh, Harley Quinn's white. Throw him an M in there. Like it felt like a, it was just really weird Kinda. some of the times like with the music like that. That's spoiling like my, my number five or whatever or my number four. Well, let's hear your number three. Number three. Uh, why isn't Batman, the Flash, Wonder Woman, or any other of the heroes in this universe helping attack Enchantress's brother? He's doing the subway shit. He's doing beams up in the sky, chopping him into water in a building. She knows Batman, and she's like, "Oh, let's get the Suicide Squad in here." Well, Wonder Woman is in 1984. But she still does. Superman's she's, dead. She's in the present day. We saw her in Batman. Isn't Superman, Superman dead? Yeah, but like for five minutes and then he comes back. But but he's dead. You know, I didn't write him down on here. Did you hear me say Batman, The Flash, Wonder Woman, and Superman? No, I said any of the other heroes. Um, and Batman's looking for Aquaman. Yeah, so, but they're like, there's the other heroes. They could have done like... I don't know. It's just weird. That, it's everywhere. just weird that no one else, no maybe, one, they may, no may, one even knows that the Suicide Squad exists. It's their first mission, so no one wanted to save this city. Maybe they what were the? all saving another city. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Where's Kid Flash? He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> um. So my number three is Harley Quinn when she's hearing the voices, or she's like, "What? Kill them all?" Oh yeah. And she's like, oh, that's not what they said, all yeah, that. Yeah. I like a lot of her stuff like that. I've seen about 150 TikToks of that. Oh, wow. I usually just go, a lot of those make me uncomfortable. People do the movie stuff like that, and like they overact in TikToks. I'm like, I don't like that. I got to get fucking right past that. Oh, really? I don't, it just depends. I, I usually watch them, and then es- they're like, yeah, you suck. Especially when they dress up, too. I'm like, ah, that creeps me out. I don't know what it is. Oh, see, I, like, there was one, I watched one girl, and she had black hair, and I was like, well, you can't even get your hair fucking blonde for this? What the hell? Fucking... So you're like critiquing them. You're yeah. Like, your makeup's off. Your hair looks like shit. What the fuck? And I'm like, eh, gross. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, my number four was that this movie has a really good soundtrack, but the music doesn't fit a lot of the scenes. And I put like, guess who's back while they're getting dressed and whatever. So I don't think you understand what good moments mean. Well, I mean, I did the same thing with Star Wars. We complain about a lot of the prequels and shit, even though I liked the episode two. Yeah, more but you years. remember this is my idea. I said do a top five of yeah, and good I, things. And you did top 10 of it's shitty hard. things. If I didn't write down... I only have a couple of these shitty things on here, but if I didn't write those down, I'd have eight things Hey, on motherfucker, this movie is two hours and two minutes long. I, I know because I looked 14 times. I could have made it. you watch the extended cut, pal. No, you couldn't. I could have made not, you do it. Not unless you tied me down. I'll tie you down, grab your pecker, make you brown, take it to 10. Do you know how many times I hit B on the Xbox to see how much fucking time was left of the movie? And I was like, oh my God, there's still a fucking half an hour left. Well, hey, you also watched it over two days. So you got, you got, I had to watch it one night. I was sitting there like, fuck. And then I, uh, it was like midnight when it was done. And I was like, oh, thank fucking God. And then Taylor. Yeah, it was at midnight. Where was I at midnight? Uh, you like just went to work. Yeah. So fuck off. I watched it in two days. Uh, is it my five or year four? Did you did? Oh yeah. Your four I did my four was a music. Oh, shut up computers. Shut up, computer. <laughs> um, Deadshot kills so many, and I have to have in quote, bad guys, because it was like the... Oh, it's so stupid. I hate when movies do that. When it's like little dog things or whatever, those guys coming at you just so they can kill a million things and I'm going to worry about blood and shit like that. Yeah. So he, lame. I, I wrote down, he killed so many of them, all the like army dudes just stopped shooting. Yeah. If they're like, oh, we're just going to watch. I was like, you still shoot them. Yeah, they could help out a little, maybe. Yeah, they're all like... They were completely useless. Yeah. Uh, Clint Eastwood's son and this is pretty useless. Yeah, uh, he I was. don't know what he's doing there. I didn't even know who he was. Yeah, that, that, and then, like, and that's then, his role in every movie, I feel and, like. And then, like, he was, like, fourth in the credits at the end, and I was like, who the fuck was he? And I looked through it. It's Scott Eastwood, right? Yeah, well, yeah, It's and it, but it popped up, like, mm-hmm. and so I look it up, and he's just one of the fucking yeah, soldiers. He's just, he's just hanging out with Rick Flagg. 
He's the same thing in Fast and Furious. He gets like punched by the rock at one point or something, but he's pretty useless. Hmm. All right, that was my number four. Ooh, my number five is Harley Quinn's elevator fight scene. That one I actually enjoyed. I wish there was some more stuff like that. She's in there and she like just falls down. And the music actually kind of fit the scene. I felt like because it was like all intense. Like they're walking through, then she's just writing it up, and it actually fit. Uh, and then she just fights the little dude in there with her bat. I thought that was a nice scene. I like most of her scenes. Uh, my number five is when she steals the purse. Oh, okay. When they're just like walking through the town. Yeah, and she's and she's like, like, We're bad guys. What we do? Yeah. Yeah. Her her voice is perfect. Yeah, she does a great uh, like Harley Quinn impression. Yeah. Uh, that's when my next one, we're just fucking blowing Harley Quinn over here. My next one is Harley Quinn's Ace Chemical flashback. I like that. Like, get to see her, like, oh. jump in the pit and all that. And I like how it looks like their clothes are melting off of them as they're kissing down there and shit. So it's a pretty cool scene. I, yeah. is that, I know every, there's, like, 45 origin stories for the Joker. Mm-hmm. But I was thinking as she jumped down, so, like, he survived. What are the chances that she's going to survive? Well, I think that's, like, the test. Like, to see, oh, is she crazy enough she'll jump down there and survive with me? Sure. Well, she's definitely crazy. I think in most cases, you'd just be like a bag of bones or melted down there. A bag of bones? Bag of bones. That's interesting. Uh, so it's my number six. Yep. That's how this works, pal. Harley Quinn calls Deadshot a pussy. Oh, that's funny. That's, uh, oh, no, I didn't write that down. Never mind. That's not that funny, actually. Uh, <laughs> she goes, <laughs> I I wrote that down. Deadshot, you're a pussy. Oh, wait, hold on. Do it again. Let me um, <clears throat> go back to your acting chair. All right, say it. Say Deadshot, you're a pussy. Uh, my number seven is Amanda Waller kills all the FBI agents helping her. That was a good Amanda Waller scene, I felt like. Like, they're getting out of there, the Suicide Squad gets there, they're saving her, and now she's leaving, she's like, poof, 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 and Will Smith's like, Jesus Christ, and we're the bad guys. Yeah, totally. I, I like that a lot. That was a cool scene. I didn't write that down, but it was cool. No, you wrote that down. Number seven? Fuck ass? Yeah, it comes after six. So does your mom. What? Comes after sex? What? Um, Harley Quinn cutting out Enchantress's uh, Enchantress's heart. Easy for you to say. I wish I had a t t t t today junior button. It's not like anyone fell for it when she's going. No, you you know, I like your ideas, and she's like, get on yeah. your knees, and you know, there just happens to be a sword in front of her. Like, the, how dumb are you to be like? You wanted to go on your knees, Texas Pete. That'd have been cool. But, like, it, you're the bad guy. You're like, hey, all right, get on your knees. Can you move that sword a little yeah, bit? But she's not even, like, really the bad guy. Her brother was, and they killed her brother with a little fucking bomb. So then she's, it's, like, she's doing her weird little fucking dance and shit up there. I thought she did a good job as, as her, whatever her fucking name is. She did a decent job. It's just weird. The character is just weird. The character is Because it's, like, a dancing witch. Is it weird that she never good. called his brother by her name? Like, it'd be yeah, like, be, hey, brother. Give me my heart, brother. It's like she was Hulk Hogan the whole yeah, movie. Uh, hey, brother, <laughs> come give me my heart, brother. Oh, sh- they should have had Hulk Hogan play Enchantress. Could you imagine if Taylor's like, hey, brother, can you give me a Red Bull? Hey, brother, give me a Red Bull, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your version of Suicide Squad now. That would have been cool. Yeah, just wait, there's just, more. Hey, man, the Waller, well, come back here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Will Smith, huh? Give me your Harley, brother. All right, what's your number eight, pal? My number eight is Harley Quinn's escape slash her death fake out when she's getting onto the plane, and the man of Waller's like, dead shot, shoot him. He's like, I only shoot you for me, and she's like, 10 months off your thing, or I'll kill you, blah, 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 all this shit. So then he snipes at her and goes, oh, I missed. And then she like falls down. I like that. That was pretty cool. And then it kind of gets weird because she gets up there and they joke her and they crash off the plane and it's stupid. Helicopter. Cop. I, what did I say, a plane? Both times. It was a plane. It's like a, I, it's like a plane copter. It's like a hybrid. You see how long that thing was? That's a hybrid. It's a, it's a plopter. Let's not talk. It's a plop plopter. <laughs> you fucking lie. Never ride a plop plopter. What? Every once in a while, you gotta ride a plop plopter. You might want to stop talking. You might want to jam my dick in your mouth. What? Go to your number eight. Uh, my number eight, and when the whole thing turns into Ghostbusters. Yeah, and Harley Quinn was like. Hey, Mr. J, don't cross the streams, Mr. J. I swear to God, I thought someone was going to say don't cross the streams. Because, okay, you got this fucking witch. Mm-hmm. It even looks like the fucking chick at oh, the end. Oh, a little bit, actually. And then they got the big thing in the sky and stuff's going, you know. And then when they kill it, the fucking bad guy turns into a burnt dog and she has oh, to crush herself out of there. Yeah, wow. I never even realized that. I was well, so, The whole time I was like, I th- this is like Ghostbusters. And then I was like, nah, I'm not going to put that in down. In a better movie, Enchantress is Sigourney Weaver slash Hulk Hogan. 
Wow. She's like, hey, brother. And then fighting ghosts. I would have been better if Deadshot would have been like, oh, it smells like burnt dog up here. <laughs> uh, We're on nine now, right? Or did we just do nine? We just did eight. Oh, okay. Uh, my number nine is Will Smith tells Rick Flag to smack Enchantress on the ass and tell her to knock that shit off. Oh, yeah, that was funny. He's like, oh, just go smack, give her a good smack in the ass and tell her to knock that shit off. He's like, I don't think that would go over very well. Yeah. <laughs> Which was a weird reaction, but yeah, that was funny. Uh, my number nine is at the end when Deadshot is showing his daughter how to snipe. Oh, that, that's pretty interesting, yeah. like they She's like, so, yeah, wind velocity <laughs> and all this shit, and they do the math. Yeah. And then she'll be like, all right, I told you, I promised that I would leave here without killing all these dudes, so I gotta go. See you later. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. That's a really good scene. See, that's a, like stuff like that, and then the, the flashbacks earlier, I think there could be a good Deadshot movie. Yeah. Um, it, it, it could be cool if they did it right. Yeah. Uh, my 10 and last one, um, El Diablo goes full on El Diablo. And then I put, side note, I don't understand Enchantress's heart. Well, this is, I thought it's the end of the movie. Well, Rick Flag squeezes it at the end and Enchantress dies in almost instantly. Mm-hmm. But then in the, they gave you a little flashback before that and Amanda Waller's like, do, 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 stabbing it when she disappeared and she's like, hey, brother, give me my heart, brother. And then he goes, and saved her. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But like, it's like witchcraft. It's just, it's just no. It's just m- stupid movie logic. Like, oh, we need her to survive because her brother. So give her ten extra seconds here. But at the end of the movie, when he just squeezes the heart, there's not a knife stabbing in it seven times. He just squeezes it. She dies. Yeah, no, turns I, into a dog from Ghostbusters. Apparently. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and then I put second side note, and this one you're gonna love. Affleck, you to bomb in that end credit scene, yo. It's always bad when you make yourself laugh that hard. <laughs> you know that was good. Oh, uh, do you want to hear my number 10? Yeah. Bruce Wayne. After <laughs> credit scene. <laughs> what was that? Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, this guy shows up without a mask. Yeah. That, well, that's cool that he's there and shit, but it makes no sense. I like how he's Didn't like... Didn't he already have all that information from the fucking last movie when they had the flash drive when oh. we got to see them go on YouTube and they were watching, oh, the flash go by and then Aquaman comes out. And all that shit. So why doesn't he go on her to get in? No, isn't that after this movie? Bat- no, Batman vs. Superman came out first. Oh. It did? Pretty sure. Let me Google that again, but I'm like 99.9% sure. Well, because then why was Superman dead? Yeah, that's true. Superman is dead. He died at the end of Batman vs. Superman. What are you, stupid? I don't know why I'm looking that up. Superman died at the end of Batman vs. Superman. That's why he's dead in this movie. Ah. Oh. Jesus Christ. You look like a fool. I can't you want a Captain America shirt to a DC video too? I mean, what is wrong with you? I'd rather watch any Marvel movie than this fucking thing again. Uh, Howard the Duck. That's it. No more Mr. Nice Duck. Uh, any last things you want to say about fucking Suicide Squad, baby? Um, would you say this movie is tight, tight, tight? Yeah. No, I would not. Hmm. Let me erase my fucking notes so I never have to see this shit again. Um, yeah, as I was watching this, I was like, thank God I'll never have to see this movie again. And you bought this big ass stupid no, thing. No, you got me that for Christmas when it came I, out. I didn't buy that shit. Yeah, you did. Your mother. you also got me the big one of Batman v Superman, which I liked that one. Because you know, Ben Affleck. Like, but yeah, there wasn't enough time for you to jerk off this movie. There's yeah. only like three scenes with him. Unfortunately. Um, I like Diablo. I like Carly Quinn. I like Deadshot. Did you call her Carly Quinn? No. Nope. Mm. I don't know why you keep talking. Sorry, that's what I heard. I like Carly Quinn. Carly Quinn. Carly Quinn. Carly Quinn. Um, everyone else can go suck a dick. Even the Joker wasn't that great. Yeah, this movie. I tried to fucking find something to put him in. Like, uh, oh, dimension. oh, he saves it. Or, or he does that. Or what, even like fucking. What about when he slaps the gun and goes, oh, hunka, hunka. I mean, how cool can you be if you're. Number two guy is the guy from True Blood. What's his name? True Blood guy. I don't know. What's his name? Everybody knows who. I'll put a picture of him here. I don't want to have to look him up. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. This is going to be a fucking big one to edit. It'll be 30 minutes for this shit. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like. because he wouldn't stop talking. Says the guy who interrupts me in the outro. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below your favorite moment of Suicide Squad, and it can't be the credits. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. What, are we some kind of... Suicide Squad.